This is why Uganda is making new electric buses irrespective of its economy. How is that possible? It was locally made here in Uganda by Kira Motors Corporation. Wow. We are working on plans to shift to electric buses, electric cars, and electric buses. What do you say about that? Let me know in the comment section. Most importantly, these buses are already on market. We'll just come make your order of uh, a Kayola mm -hmm. and we'll be ready to deliver it at your doorstep. Welcome back to POA, where we explore the latest innovation in the world of development. Today, we have something truly groundbreaking to discuss the Kayola electric bus by Kira Motors in Uganda. I am Luke, and let's dive into the future of eco-friendly public transportation. Hello, madam. Hello, how, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? Are you poor? Oh, poor is also a new one, right? No. What's your name? It is the abbreviation, it follows the people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, yes, poor is part of Africa, that's true. And I'm here to show you what yeah. it means. Well, let us add an image to the word part of Africa. Mm -hmm. Uganda is making Africa's first electric buses. We have the Kayola bus here yes. that moves 300 kilometers at full charge. This is a city bus that was built to give you an ultimate experience if you're traveling in cities. So the bus has free Wi-Fi on board because we know you want to stay connected anytime, anywhere, when, when in the city. Yeah, we have USB charging ports and these charging ports are to make sure that you don't run out of battery when you're moving on the bus. Before we delve into the review, let's understand why the Kayola electric bus was manufactured. Kia Motors aimed to address critical issues such as environmental sustainability, reducing dependence on fossil fuels, and transforming the public transportation landscape in Uganda. One of the primary reasons behind the Kayola's creation is its contribution to environmental conservation. With zero emissions and a reliance on electricity, this electric bus helps to combat air pollution, making it a crucial step toward a cleaner and a greener future. Uganda, like many other nations, faces challenges related to energy security. The Kayola electric bus aligns with the Kira Motors' vision of reducing dependence on imported fossil fuels. By utilizing locally generated electricity, this bus promotes energy independence and supports sustainable development. But the question is, will this electric vehicle help to cover up the ever-increasing price of fuel? Let me know in the comment section below. We also have a ramp for people with disabilities that like were underlooked or not even thought about on most of the public transport means. I should tell you that the buses or the vehicles Kira Motors Corporation makes are designed and fit the market of Uganda. So people with disabilities have been underlooked for years and this is something we are changing with the Kayola buses that we are making here in Uganda. When you enter here, we look at safety as a key component for the passengers who bought the Kayola EVS. There are CCTV cameras to make sure that no one pick pockets in your, po in your bag or even in your pocket. So we have CCTV cameras to keep you safe while on the Kayola buses. Now let's talk about the technological features that make the Kayola stand out. From its advanced battery technology to the generative braking system, Kia Motors has integrated cutting-edge innovations to ensure efficiency and reliability. The long-term cost-effectiveness of the Kayola electric bus is another factor to consider. While the initial investment in electric buses may be higher, the reduced operational costs, maintenance expenses, and the longevity of electric vehicles make them a financially viable option in the long run. Kira Motors Corporation is a state enterprise established to add value addition in the nascent mobility industry in Uganda that is through contract manufacturing, supply chain localization and also technology transfer. 
this means that kilometers corporation made uganda's vehicles and these are vehicles that have made to fit the market of not only uganda but also africa let me be very clear uh is it locally made from uh, uganda from the engine tires everything the Kayola EVS is an electric bus, which means it doesn't use an engine, but uses batteries. It was locally made here in Uganda by Kira Motors Corporation. Wow, that is wonderful. Uganda is developing for sure. Is it on market already? Yes, you can buy the Kayola EVS. As a manufacturer, I implore you to tell me your specification of the, of the bus you want, mm -hmm. and that informs the exact price of the bus you may need. Wow, how much is it, like uh, this one? Like I told you, for a bus, for a vehicle manufacturer, mm -hmm. the pricing is derived from the specifications of the buyer. So huh? the bus you're seeing right now is a premium product. Okay. And when I say premium product... I understand. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I need you to come to me, tell me the specifications of the bus the you bus want, you want. in terms of seats, in terms of size, in terms of range when it comes to batteries and kilometers, and that contributes highly on the price of the bus okay. that you want to buy. Yeah. Okay. Where is the branch? Where can I find you if I need like one? You can find Kira Motors Corporation at Kira Vapor Plant. It is located in the Jinja Industry and Business Park. What does it take you to charge it? Well, it takes about one and a half hours to charge the Kayola EVS. And we use electric vehicle chargers. You can have a look at one right there. Do I charge it from home? You cannot charge this one from home. However, there are smaller vehicles that you can charge from home with relatively portable chargers. Are there other cars you're making from Kira Motors Uganda? Kira Motors Corporation has two market entry products, mm -hmm. and these are, these are the Kayola EVS buses and the Kayola Coach. The Kayola Coach is a luxurious executive long distance bus wow. that trust me oh, I have... you need to take a ride on seriously yes i have to make a video about that because i'm promoting uganda and you the should. products of uganda Absolutely. beyond the environmental and the technological aspects kila motors envision is boosting local economy through job creation and skill development the production and maintenance of the Kayola electric bus provide employment opportunities and contribute to the growth of the automotive industry in uganda now, let's shift our focus to the user experience. Passengers can enjoy a quiet and smooth ride with the Kayola, thanks to its electric propulsion system. Additionally, the bus is designed for accessibility, ensuring a comfortable journey for all passengers. When you want to buy a Ugandan made vehicle, you come to us and you share your specifications. When you share your specifications, our design team designs the vehicle you need okay. and then we can proceed with making that vehicle. When I'm making these videos, they ask me many questions. Those Kida Motors are just assembling a car, they are not making vehicles. This is the personnel from Kira Motors and they're explaining you everything. So you can ask any question down there, I'll go to their plant and ask them. A typical vehicle has 70,000 parts. Mm -hmm. Kira Motors Corporation is a vehicle manufacturer, not a vehicle parts manufacturer. Each and every part of a vehicle is an industry of its own. There are industries for brake pads, there are industries for tires, there are industries for lights, there are industries for bamboo, there are industries for chairs, there are industries for panels, there are industries for batteries, there are industries for shock absorbers. First, to mention, okay. but we are talking about 70,000. Parts. parts and yeah, each and every part is what an industry that's what ugandans if, don't know yes this is we're empowering them now so imagine if uganda say let us first make seventy thousand parts before we start making a vehicle so who would buy those parts to make a vehicle For but sure. if at all we have a vehicle manufacturer who has told you these things this thing is possible because making the vehicle is the hardest part right yeah, yeah. and yeah. then making parts would be okay yes it is a it, we, I have an industry for brake pads. I can walk around the science, the research, and see that I have brake pads that I can sell. But now this is a vehicle. So we have the best in class technology and engineers that make vehicles. And we want Ugandans to understand that these industries need to be created by us, Ugandans, yes. not Kira Motors Corporation. 
what's the difference between this bus and the other buses I see on the roads so Kapara and, and okay, Uganda so as well? The, the world is transitioning from mm. conventional vehicles to electric vehicles. Mm. Kira Motors Corporation has started this initiative to see that Uganda also transitions to electric vehicles and we have made the Kayola EVS. The Kayola EVS is different from the conventional vehicles reason it is an electric vehicle that moves 300 kilometers at full charge and then the other vehicles that you see on the road or buses you see on the road use fuel so the difference here is the Kayola EVS uses batteries to move right mm -hmm. the other vehicles use engines engines right okay so we have a fuel tank into what into these other vehicles mm -hmm. this one we have batteries and a motor so the engine and the fuel tank could be an easy explanation to show the difference between an electric vehicle and a conventional vehicle or an internal combustion engine vehicle wow yes that is so nice uganda is really developing in conclusion the Kayola electric bus represents a significant step forward in sustainable and innovative transportation solutions. From its positive impact on the environment to its role in the local economic development, Kira Motors has set a commendable example in the global push toward a cleaner and a more sustainable future. If you found this review insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates on groundbreaking innovations in the world of development. Thank you for joining me on POWER. Until next time, stay curious and stay connected.